power. A horsepower. I don't like this about these new cars where they got all I this. hate that. I mean, That's one of the best. Or want to just drive it because it's a Bronco. It's cool. Yeah. Keep it, you know. But in a way, people are gonna say, "Well, I want to touch it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I want to touch it." The turning radius of this thing is awesome. this out Bronco Sport Big Bend I noticed it does drive right over the bumps so. though. Oh no, it sucks it up and the Big Bend Edition has a one inch lift. I wonder if only that edition comes with the lower aluminum lower control arms. Because it does have aluminum control arms up front and in the rear, which I think would make it a lot lighter. Yeah, it'd be a lot lighter, a lot quicker to react, but. I think it's more built for highway instead of off road. It is, I mean it. The axles are way too small for yeah. off road. We'll see what happens when people get a hold of them and customize them. Right. That's what I've been looking at this thing the whole time and thinking about the aftermarket. Or are people going to buy it or are they just going to drive it like it is? And it's, you know, well, it looks like a decent little driving car, but oh. it kind of looks like a jacked up Fiesta <laughs> yeah. with the aluminum large control arms and a 1.5 liter turbo. Yeah. It's kind of like, I don't know. It's on the Escape chassis, I believe. It's a lot better than the Bronco 2, the old Bronco 2 that I thought was a death trap in the curve. Like right oh, here. Oh, it was, but it was a monster in the trails. Like right here, this curve, for example. I mean, it's, a Bronco 2 would have rolled over. Yeah. Right there. <laughs> no, actually. This man, thing's agile. With a one inch lift, I can definitely feel the taller center of gravity coming through, but, you know, and, it, and it's a very non steering car, but most crossovers are. I don't see anybody really wanting to lift these. I see people. That's one of the best. Or want to just drive it because it's a Bronco. It's cool. Yeah. Keep it, you know. But in a way, people are gonna say, "Well, I want to touch it. Yeah. <laughs> I want to touch it." Let's see, Let's what, see what that thing that, feels like. That independent suspension is gonna be hard to lift, <laughs> but you know, I will see what I can do here, boy. Yeah. You know, actually, that bump we went through. You know, the one that the RX-7 used to it throw sparks. It absorbed all of it, dude. It would well, well, let's look at that again. And now this time a little bit slower. <laughs> that it, it really absorbed it and through the corners it's sure footed, I'll say that. The power plant in this thing has really surprised me because as soon as I learned that this was a three cylinder I don't know. I was very skeptical because that's just some kind of Euro economy crap that we don't deal with over here. Hell, I drive a five liter with 460 horsepower. Oh, horsepower. I don't like this about these new cars where they got all I this. hate that. I mean, that's so Dude, it's If you like, can't get out of park, oh God, my battery's low. It won't let me out of park. You put it in neutral. What do you do? Well, yeah. the tow drivers won't know what to do. Yeah, yeah. Right there. What does the L stand for? Does it have a low mode? Like for yeah. off? Really? Yeah, it's got a low mode. It's got go, go uh, which in forward terms stands for goes over all terrain. Huh. But look, you can see up here on the display, you've got 
eco sport uh slippery and you've got sand so and interior wise i mean it's roomy it is roomy and it's quite comfortable to be a smaller crossover and and you got to think what this is parking besides you, you know look at everything else in this range these small crossovers small engines think what you get you've got the crvs you've got the kias i mean all that stuff is just a wash in a parking well, lot i promise you this stands out well it stands out but after the fiestas and the transmission troubles i mean well, and, see, uh, we don't and, uh, know. well not really fiestas more focuses but after that I know. that's kind of scary market well CBT. this is a new eight speed though this isn't this isn't cvt then yeah no that's great yeah <laughs> that's a big plus really. yeah yeah it don't look like a cube that's a plus yeah that's a plus at least on cube <laughs> you couldn't catch my dog driving that <laughs> that's really cool the dash though i really like the dash it really is cool yeah no i mean that's everything awesome. man it's like a mini g wagon in here yeah it's all got, toned down i mean none it's of it's got these, lane departure none of these materials are gonna you know impress you but they're all durable and it's all stripped back there's not a ton of buttons there's just a main control screen uh i like it man and you know i have to i have to send out a huge shout out to david at modern ford of boone they have a few of these on their lot go check them out this thing is priced how much I, you think it's priced at i don't know maybe like thirty-five thousand, maybe yeah yeah no but time 29 on. nope 29. Time will only tell <laughs> as far as mechanical abilities. Yeah. Sometimes it don't take longer than five years to tell they were all junk, or you can wait 20 years later and they're still all over the place. That's right. Well, guys, I appreciate you joining us. This is Top Gear Welber. And I'll tell you what you want to know about any car. You just <laughs> tell us what you want to see and want we'll to know what I think about it. I'll tell you real quick. Yeah. Leave it in the comments what you want to see us review. Uh, and I will see you again, hopefully, with the full-size Bronco and a Manuel and a twin-turbo V6. Better have a Dana 4040. <laughs> see you guys. Bye. Bye.